municipal architecture, dispiriting at the best of times, but when combined with the British genius for creating the dismal, makes for a cityscape that is anything but Elysian. In terms of the film itself, how would you describe it? For me, it's, it's a personal essay. Um, and it is entirely personal. My view of Liverpool is entirely emotional um, and entirely subjective. Um, so there's nothing about the Toxteth riots or anything like that. I didn't experience them. Um, and I was using things which had profoundly inf influenced me, some of them very ephemeral, like Bonfire Night, which is not a big um, event, but it was for me. Um, so it was using those personal um, memories um, and trying to create a web, um, a filigree um, of a story. I knew what the story basically should be, but that changed as I got more and more archival material in, as I had to write as I was doing it, which I've never done before, which was incredibly exciting, um, but terribly terrifying. Um, but then someone comes in with some footage and you think, I know what to do, and that's fabulous. But soon, darker pleasures. At 15, I saw Dirk Bogard in Victim and discovered something entirely different. And when I was not at the movies, on Friday nights, I was at the Liverpool Stadium watching the wrestling. Not for its pantomimic villainy, but for something more illicit. And in short, I was afraid. As I struggled with my adolescent desires, as I waited at the top of the aisle, as the wrestlers swaggered up from the ring, their trunks tight across the buttocks, I could feel their body heat as I furtively touched a back or a thigh, choking with schoolboy guilt and trembling with the fear of the wrath of God. I said, when we were cutting it, cut it like fiction and then it has a subtext that's an emotional subtext which people either get or they don't, they like or they don't, but cut it as fiction. And then, then it becomes ellipses. And that is really exciting because it's not this happened, that happened, this happened. It doesn't become that. It becomes an emotional journey. And real, uh, the difference between film and television is in film you go on a journey. In television they tell you where you're going. That's the difference. Yeah, 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 yeah. For goodness sake, I got the hippie, hippie shakes. Yeah, I got the shakes. I got the hippie, hippie shakes. Oh, I can't sit still. And in an era when pop music was still demure, before Presley, before the Beatles, John, Paul, George and Ringo, not so much a musical phenomenon, more like a firm of provincial solicitors. Oh, Edinburgh has enormous memories. They've taken every single film I've made, and when I've not deserved it as well. Um, and I love Edinburgh. I, I think it's one of the most beautiful cities in the world, and the accent is so beguiling. Oh, I just want to say to everyone, be mine, and you can't. Um, I love being here, I just love it. <laughs>